Hello, everyone, and welcome to my young and restless official channel. I hope everyone is having a wonderful day. Before we begin, please hit the subscribe button and give this video a thumbs up. There are indications that Nikki Newman is tired of Victor Newman's power. Then there's Claire Grace Newman, who will not like being manipulated. It appears that women are now standing up for themselves. What may the future hold for these characters? Chelsea Lawson versus Billy Abbott Why and our spoilers state that Chelsea confessed to Billy. Chelsea did it despite Adam's pressure to keep quiet to protect his own relationship. Chelsea caved in, but she ultimately did the right thing. Chelsea did not stand up to a man for the first time during the week of August 26, 2024. After the confrontation with Adam, fans watched Chelsea and Billy chat. On Wednesday, August 28, 2024, Billy hinted that if they didn't make it, Chelsea could injure herself. Chelsea was offended, and rightfully so. One weak moment, or one weak chapter, does not make a weak person. If it had happened recently, it would be a different thing. This was a long time ago. There were undoubtedly more diplomatic methods for Billy to discuss Chelsea's mental health. Chelsea's response was wonderful. Billy may have saved her that night, but she worked hard on her own. You go, girl? Lined our spoilers. Gaslighting Cal out despite being caught cheating and lying, Adam attempted to convince Sally to stay. Adam offered every excuse in the book, and Sally called him out. Sally explained that Adam had a difficult life, and that being Victor's son did not cause him to cheat. Sally also blamed Adam for gaslighting her. Claire Grace Newman's freedom, according to spoilers from The Young and The Restless, Claire has lived her entire life under Jordan's Colleen Zank supervision. Claire believes she now has freedom, but she is also oblivious of Victor's antics. Victor is well known for his ability to maintain control over his family. Victor has attempted to persuade Kyle Abbott, Michael Mueller, to replace Claire as Harrison Abbott's Reddy Munsell nanny. While Kyle declined, Victor always gets his way. Victor will most certainly have influence over Claire's dating life when she finally obtains one. Claire will not put up with additional control, especially after Jordan. So I see Claire standing up to Victor shortly. The Young and the Restless Spoilers Nikki Newman's next chapter Victor is attempting to take over Abbott Chancellor and place Nikki in control. Nikki eventually consented, although she is concerned about Victor's handling of the situation. Victor pretends to wish to preserve Catherine Chancellor's, Jean Cooper, legacy, but it's really simply another weapon. Nikki seemed to be becoming increasingly frustrated with Victor's dishonesty. Keep in mind that Nikki is still unaware of Victor's imprisonment of Jordan in the house where they slept. That will not go over well. Lily Winters fights back. Let us make an honorable mention to Lily Winters, Crystal Khalil, she has recently taken a stand against Devin Hamilton Winters, Crystal Khalil. Despite being dismissed by Billy, Lily intends to fight back. It appears that the writing has shifted. Could we see a spate of Y and R queens stake their ground? According to the Y and R spoilers, Abby was fully unaware of her mother's mental health issues. Even though everything was explained to Abby, it should not have happened. Moving forward, Ashley is still receiving treatment in Paris for dissociative identity disorder. Ashley has been in treatment for several months. In fact, Tracy Abbott, Beth Maitland, formed a bond with Alan Laurent, Christopher Cussens. What happens to Ashley now that Tracy and Alan are permanently relocating to Genoa City? Ashley most likely will continue to receive therapy in Paris. Alan will presumably continue to provide information to the Abbott family once they arrive alone. Eventually, Ashley will be released. Why and our spoiler? Devin Hamilton Abbott's proposal Devin proposed marriage to Abby, and she accepted. However, during a video conference with Ashley, Abby admitted to having reservations. Ashley managed to soothe her daughter. At the same time, it was noteworthy how Ashley declined Abby's request for another visit. Ashley claimed she had a lot of work to accomplish, but there seemed to be something lurking behind the surface. 
Abby Newman Abbott's declaration, according to the young and the restless spoilers, after accepting Devin's proposal, Abby made an important decision. Abby informed Devin that she couldn't marry until her mother was able to attend. Of course, Devin was completely understanding. Devin understands how important family is, particularly to Abby. What happens if Ashley's treatment is long-term? What if Ashley's release could take months or perhaps years? This may encourage Ashley to tell Abby to marry anyhow. Her kid to postpone Ashley her happiness. The young and the restless spoilers. Will Eileen Davidson return for her wedding? Abby might hesitantly agree to marry without her mother there. It would be bittersweet, however. So what happens if Abby receives the surprise of a lifetime? What happens if someone interrupts Devin and Abby's wedding? What if the person is Ashley? It would be unexpected, but in a positive manner, just what soap lovers need right now. Every soap needs drama, but the touching and lovely moments should not be overlooked. The moment that the young and the restless fans have been waiting for has finally arrived. Chelsea has already told Billy the truth, and now it's time for Adam to confess to Sally. I hope the fans enjoy it, Courtney Hope expressed to Soaps in depth. I enjoyed filming these scenes and this episode, and I know we were all wondering, how's it going to turn out? The four of us were continually asking each other, do you know anything? Because we only received scripts so far in advance. So when it finally came out, it was incredibly wonderful to work with everyone and see it all come together. So I hope the fans appreciate it too. Sally and Billy suspected Adam and Chelsea were hiding something from them. Now that Chelsea has acknowledged to sleeping together with Adam in Baltimore, it's Adam's turn to come clean, despite his reluctance. Obviously, Adam has lied to Sally's face and claimed that he did not sleep with Chelsea, Hope explained. So Billy appears and alludes to the idea that there is clearly more to the story. Sally has just been lied to so many times, and she is not stupid. I believe Adam has gaslit her throughout this circumstance causing her to mistrust her intuition and herself. So when Billy arrives, it's like, okay, there's more to it, and you're not going to get away with it this time. Adam, I don't think, would have shown his hand if Chelsea hadn't done it first, according to the actress. I wouldn't be surprised if he tried to alter the tale, if he could have gotten to Chelsea beforehand and made everything go away, so Sally didn't have to find out. I believe he would have done so. I don't think he wants to tell Sally, but there's no other option. He needs to be honest. He dug a deep ditch. Adam cheated on Sally with Chelsea and lied to her repeatedly, including when she inquired if he slept with Chelsea in Baltimore. Her reaction to the truth will be intense. So when a firework goes off, Hope giggled, it explodes everywhere and begins to light up the room. That is her reaction. She definitely loses it. She has been lied to, is disappointed, and enraged. She is, above all, hurt and devastated. She adores Adam and wants this to work, and I believe it is a major betrayal for her to discover this after he explicitly stated to her that he did not. So that's what sets her off on her downward spiral. While Sally clearly feels deceived and hurt by Adam, it also speaks to a far deeper level. More than anything, Sally's grown into a place where she really values and respects herself, the daytime Emmy winner explained. Especially after everything that happened to Ava, what is she worth, and what will she accept into her life? So there are a lot of layers to it, and I believe she is navigating them, but this is clearly something that Sally may find unforgivable, particularly the lying. I think if he would have said something early on, Maybe she would have been hurt, but maybe she would have found her way through it, says Hope. But after he doubled down and then pretty much tripled down, she asked him three times and he openly said no, I believe he may have nailed the coffin, which is awful for her. I feel sorry for Sally. Watch Y and R for the pyrotechnics, followed by the dramatic consequences from the disclosure. But first, take our online poll about Sally and Adam's future. Thanks for watching if you like this video, so please don't forget to subscribe to my channel, and don't miss any updates.